Hey, you guys, thanks for coming in with me and getting contagious. I'm Carrie Weber Young. So I get asked a lot why I do contagious living. So this is going to be a quick clip just to clarify that for you guys. I've been accused of being, yep, you see it, the badass manifester. Thank you so much, Sarah Vincent, for this gift. Contagious living really means reaching out to people. When you see somebody and you get that little tug that maybe they just need you to smile a little brighter at them. So your, your down low, shy hello turns into a hi. They just pass you by, but that hi gave them some energy and stimulated them somewhere. I really believe that your energy leaped out and said, hi, and it makes them go, wow, why, why is she looking at me? Why? And you just created a heartfelt conversation for that person. And whether you ever see them again doesn't matter but I truly believe you planted a seed of contagiousness where that person's gonna, whether they went on their day and they got in the taxi and all they could think of is, wow, that really made me feel good. And did I know that person or, you know what? Maybe, maybe I need to reach out and say, hey, or how you doing or hi, and let that person catch on. Let's all be contagious with just simply reaching out to our fellow humans and saying hello. That's how I live my life every day. So now I want to share with you what contagious living does. I know I talk about it a lot, but I've torn my office apart here. I've got Jesse Spokowski behind the camera helping me share this with you guys. I'm really about visual teaching. So these aren't in any particular order, but I want to share this with you. This would be the great Les Brown who was still with us teaching people how to tell your story and be hungry. So, manifesting and thinking and putting it out there about Les Brown got me to a space where I was able to naturally through a friend of Gail, my friend Gail Kingsbury who works with Les able to get into his mastermind. I was able to get in there and meet him and meet other masterminders that are getting hungry and I learned how to tell a story amazingly and help you teach your story. I can put that on my resume because this man taught me how to get deep and get vulnerable with my story. This is the great Rhonda Britton who was one of the very first, and I really mean this, very first life coaches, branding that term life coach. She had a story called, a story called The Starting Over House. It was one of the very first reality TV shows that had cameras in it 24 seven. Jesse, I'm gonna look at you and say, you know how hard that would be and how expensive that was? But it was all about helping people, women that were in transition and doing life coaching on TV. That was a life changer for me as I was just coming out of my uh, depths of suicide and depression and surviving. This woman right here, I met them on the same day. I was, I had, uh, I had a, this frame used to say coming soon in 2019. So I really believed that I needed to meet these people and that I deserved to, to meet these people and that I had a reason and a mission that they could help me with. So being contagious is also being fearless. Rhonda Britton is the fearless living coach. I now have an interview waiting for you to see of Rhonda and I interviewing her about her fearless living. 15 years ago, you guys, I sat in my living room with my small children and said, shh, Rhonda's teaching. We have to learn something. So being contagious, I've taught my kids now how to be contagious and reach out and meet the people that you know have a space in your life that maybe you have a space in their life. So thankful that these two amazing individuals that are now a part of my life. Shout out to Brendan Bouchard. This would be Brendan Bouchard working step backstage, helping Gail at a power of success event. Because again, I thought that I might want to get into this industry on a higher level of really reaching the masses. I got contagious. I got vulnerable and I really truly shared my heart with Gail. And she said, well, let's get you up there. Let's get you out there and let you see what it's like. Get your feet wet. She didn't tell me that Brendan Bouchard was the big cheese and I got to meet him and have no idea who he was. And it was life changing to hear his story and see where he started out from nothing but a loving home and really got out there and has built an empire. If you don't know who Brendan Bouchard is, you should get uh, get out there and find out who he is. Get out from underneath the rock you're crawling under. And this is my husband that I manifested to marry me after this event. Um, this one I've gotten a lot of flack for, but as a speaker, you should, you should, as a speaker, as a singer, as an actress, as a photographer, your journey must constantly be about not losing your vocal cords. You want to be working on your craft always. 
So even as a coach and even as a mentor, I have coaches and mentors constantly watching my growth and helping my, me to expand um, my goals and make them bigger and shoot higher and do a better job communicating that to get that there. That's what I like to do is help people manifest, get their energy into the space so they can be doing this, sharing and telling with you. This is Bill Clinton. A lot of people ask me if this is my uncle. <laughs> I find that a little scary in our society, but this is Bill Clinton. As you can see, I wasn't prepared for this picture. Not very many people go to see the President of the United States without any hair and makeup. I had been in a psychology class and was voted when we found out he was magically secretly coming to campus to talk about Hillary Clinton in 2015. I was voted to go be the representation of our class, even though my heart to give was, you guys are 20 years old, you should be meeting the President. And then my teacher said, Carrie, have you been manifesting to meet Bill Clinton? And it wasn't for political, but it was because to practice my craft, he's one of, bar none, the best, most gifted natural speakers on the planet that we have. If you wanna be a speaker and you come to me, we're gonna talk about Bill Clinton and we're gonna talk about his energy and how he strives to get his message out there. So here's Bill Clinton. I don't know if you guys may not know who Yashi Brown is, but this is very dear to my heart. This was being at Michael Jackson's uh, off the wall uh, VIP party that um, Spike Lee produced. So I found myself sitting there with Celine Dion's producer the day of her husband's funeral. Um, rest in peace, Renee. And uh, she's a singer. She was the singer that started my whole journey of singing. And so it was amazing to sit in one space with such energy, find myself riding in a car, you know, in a limo to go meet Spike Lee and Yashi Brown. This is also Hope. And these are amazing women that work in mental health and mental awareness in Yashi's journey. It's, it's hers, so I'll let her share that with you. And this is Hope who was on her way to um, speak internationally about sex trafficking. And obviously Spike Lee, we know that he's making great movies for people. And uh, the last I heard Spike Lee, he was working on uh, Prince's um, last documentary before he passed. But the point being is I was able to find myself just because I was being contagious and reaching out to people and I'm not a good asker. So just simply being, and now I'm getting better at being an asker, but these are people that I just manifested and prayed about and, and hoped to be in their spaces because they had something that I wanted to learn from them. And I also felt that I had some validity to share with them. And you have a story too. And so it's really important that you find a way to get connected, whether it's through quiet manifesting to start, but contagious living is beyond manifesting. Manifesting starts here. Contagious living is reaching out and saying today, I asked Jesse, did I not? Hey, could I borrow 15 minutes of your amazing filming? Tanel, can I borrow Jesse? So that I could believe in myself because I believe that you need to see this video so that you could make today count. You can meet individuals like Dean Graziosi and here's Brendan and here's Dean Watley and here's Harvey McKay with the amazing Gail Kingsbury. This is Stephanie, she's a QVC gal from the very, very beginning. And this is my mentor, Thomas Baylor, who um, worked with Michael Jackson. And oh gosh, he has so much more to his story. We could be here all day long. But a man that took me on a journey because I asked him to take me on a road trip to Utah. I asked the man I was dating to have faith in me to let me jump in the car and drive cross country with this man. It changed my absolute life. So thank you, Thomas. And these two people right here, I might speak about the most. This is my mom and dad who taught me the value of living in the moment, reaching out to others. I know there were days when you guys were absolutely fearful that my contagious living was going to get me thrown in the back of a truck somewhere and out in a ditch somewhere because I didn't have a lot of boundaries with people, but because I surround myself around good people who love me and help me with those boundaries, I'm able to connect with a group of amazing people. Usually these people sit on the back walls of my desk because I want to have humble pie, but I want to celebrate what having them in my life has done for me. So thanks to all of you and these individuals. And Jesse, thank you for letting me make this video. So when you're ready to get contagious with me, it's at carrie at carrieweberyoung.com. 
You can find me at 587-832-3435. And I am looking forward to getting back with you and hearing what your story is and helping you get contagious. So thanks.